What's up, savages? How would you like to make a Mandalorian helmet? So here's my first attempt at making the helmet. So after making it, I did see where um, where I made some errors here and there. So on this next attempt, I should get a way better result after uh, getting some practice here for the project. And I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun, and I learned a lot by making this uh, this helmet here. Here's another view of the helmet with the HDR file, giving it more of that uh, Mandalorian uh, ambiotic look there. Cool. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is uh, find some pictures of the Mandalorian helmet. <clears throat> you can use Google Images. You want to get different views, a front view, back view, some side views, top, bottom, maybe not so much top and bottom, not much going on there. <clears throat> but I do like this uh, side view. Definitely need one of these side views. Something like this, so you can see what it looked like from an angle. There we go, something like that. Obviously, some of these are fan-made, so they may not be as uh, as accurate as the actual uh, imagery here from the actual show. So just a heads up. And some of the pictures are also distorted, so you have to account for that when you're making your model. I found some on a website. I don't remember what site it is, but once I find it, um, I'll upload it, and it'll be there in the description for the video. So let me bring in my images here. I made one from front view, so I can bring an image here in front view. Go to Shift A, and then I'm going to go over here to Image and use Reference here. Reference. Right on my image. I forgot if I bring it in as a reference, it's not going to come up in that view, so I'd have to rotate it here. So it came in facing the top view, which is cool. So I'm just going to rotate it so it's facing the front view. So that's RX90. Enter. There we go. One for front view. There it is. Now it's facing me in the front view. And um, I want to be able to see the grade mark to it, through it. So I'm going to go over here to the Properties panel. Click on this image icon here. If you don't see the image icon there, it's because your image is not selected. And activate transparency. There we go. So now I can see through it. You can change the opacity here, make it more transparent. But uh, that's fine. Maybe we'll put it there like around 75. So there we go. And now I'm going to duplicate this. So I have it here for front view. And now I'm going to create a duplicate and rotate it along the z-axis 90 degrees. So I have one for the right view right here. 50RZ90. Enter, there we go, three for right view. And I can try to freehand it here, GY, bring it over and try to put it on approximately there in the middle somewhat. I'll find that later when I bring in my UV sphere, but I got that for now. And then the back part, um, I'll worry about that later. I'm just gonna focus on modeling the front and the side of it for now. So you wanna look at your shape here and see what uh, primitive that most resembles. And uh, that looks like a sphere. So I'm gonna go Shift A, Mesh. These are my primitive uh, shapes here. And since the head is obviously round, it's going to be a UV sphere right there. UV sphere, bring it in. So there it is. And I'm going to scale it down so it fits the size there of the dome. You notice this will not be a perfect circle there. But it'll be somewhat of a circle shape. So around there, maybe now right here along the x-axis. SX going in. And something like that. I mean, three for right view and see what I get there. Three for right view. So it's a little bit off there as well. SY, bring it in. And if you notice here, our picture in the back, see, notice the top of this sphere here, the one for front view, it's at the top there. GZ, I'll bring it down a bit. I'm going to use a separate part and make this um, uh, this middle part here, this middle section. So that's the, uh, the top of it's right there, three for right view, and then the top of it is way down there. And that's just because the image here, I can try scaling it up, make it bigger, see if that works. And it's going to be something like that, right? GY. Bring it around there, and I'll try to make this a center point here. Just kind of eyeballing it there. And now maybe I can make this wider, or should I make it smaller? Huh. So that's fine. It doesn't have to be super accurate, just somewhat of that look. I can always try to fix it later. One for front view. All right. So I'm going to take my sphere to edit mode, tab key. And I'm going to delete the left half of it here, and then I'm going to use a mirror modifier. So I only have to worry about one side. Drag select there. And hopefully I got the whole left side. Looks good there. More front view, X key, delete vertices, and A to select all. And cool, I hit A to select all, make sure I have no overhanging parts here. Make sure I got everything. And let's make sure I didn't go too far on the other side. All right. Now the mirror modifier is going to mirror this side to the other one. So I can just model right the right side, and then the rest of it will be modeled on the left. So modifier, add modifier, mirror, 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 right there. And there it is. So with the default settings, it's already mirroring along the x-axis, which is what I want. 
Now I'm activate clipping. This way these center vertices here touch each other. They don't uh, go past each other and stuff like that. So I want those to touch there and become one vertex. There you go. So now if I move that, I can go into the mirror plane. There we go. That's what I want. All right. So I want to maybe cut it off around here. So I can try making this uh, front part here, the visor, whatever that is. Three for right view. If you notice here, it's a lot lower than that edge. So that's that edge right here. Alternate and click to select the whole loop. One for front view, it's right there. Three for right view, it's down there. The image is distorted, obviously. This image doesn't match that one, but it's all right. We'll just work with what we got here and we'll just uh, do our best. Uh, good luck finding an image that's perfect like the other one. I can keep trying to resize or distort this image here to get it to match, but I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't want to throw it too hard. One for front view. All right, so it looks I'll delete. So I'm going to delete everything below that line. Yeah, delete everything below that. Um, that round shape gets lost down here because more cylindrical oil towards the bottom. One for front view, all right, X key, delete vertices. Cool, one for front view. Hold down the alternate key, select this loop there. Or maybe not the whole loop, maybe just uh, three for right view around here, around there, and then I'll extrude down from there. So I'm gonna hold down control and click on this vertex there, and it selects everything in between those two points by selecting by the, um, uh, what's it called? The uh, path of least resistance. Actually, I think it'd be neater if I just extrude all the way down. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hold down the alternate key and select the whole thing. And now that I remember from other project, I should just extrude all the way down from here or at least extrude down in sections. So I'm gonna extrude, E to extrude and go about there. I'm hit the Z keys after the Z axis. Oops, Z key, there we go. Extrude about there. E to extrude again, Z key, extrude around there, E to extrude again, Z key, and about right there. So notice these are going to go where there'd be vertices later, and then maybe go around there. Three for right views here, we're looking over there. And this, this part right here, I'm going to make it with a separate piece of mesh. Same thing with the back part over here, and then the top part on the helmet. Those would be uh, three separate pieces of mesh. So easy, and let's go around right there. Easy, and when I go uh, right there, or should I just go all the way down? Let's go about there. Easy, right there, and easy all the way down right there. You notice here, here I am at the bottom. Hit three for right view, might not be at the bottom there. Yeah, oops, cool, I got it, it's pretty close. Earlier my other uh, run wasn't as close. All right, so there we go. And now we start reshaping my mesh. You hit the Shift Z for solid. Tab key. All right, so it looks kind of sharp there. We can adjust that later. For front view, Shift Z. Oops, tab key back to object mode. And I'll start making this a brim part right here. So it looks like it's uh, there's two loops in there. So I'm gonna hit Control R and get a cut in there. And maybe we'll put it around around there there we go i'm going to bring in another image that has a side view also this image is kind of dark i'll bring in another image right now for the other view so i'm at the top tab key for object mode shift a and bring in an image as reference i have another image that's another view as well all right here's the image that came in rx90 enter and let me try that again rx90 enter and I had the wrong one selected. Let's see. Undo. And I want this one selected. There we go. RX90 enter. There we go. Super huge picture. S for scale. And then you see, just move it over here. G, X, put it around there. And it's just kind of just there for reference. So I'm going to go to edit mode. Let me select my mesh here. Tab key. You can also look at it and see what it's looking like over there, right? So I can get a better view right here of the. Of that section there so it looks like it's uh yeah so it's extruded inward and the other parts extruded out so let's do something about that one well, from view zoom in all right so i add another loop in there control r loop and just freehanding it around there and then i'm going to select these other uh, edges here and i'm going to extrude them out so let me shift z for solid view three for right view face selection one for front view, 
and obviously I'm, I know I'm going to select these right here. So I'm going control, click there. And I'm just going to hit the C key for circle select, make the circle smaller, and drag select across there. Ready for right view. Shift Z, see if I went back far enough. Cool, looks like it did go far back enough. I can go a little further. And yeah, I'll go back a little further since I'm going to cover that part there anyways. And I'm going to extrude this part out here. One for front view. That's going to be for the visor there. Set for top view. And E to extrude. See how we're looking. And how far should I go out, right? There it is. One for front view. Shift Z for solid. And that part kind of grooves in. But does it do that? And no, it kind of goes solid all the way back. So then what I can do is select those faces there. And try straightening them out and just pull them back. <clears throat> Send for top view. Zoop. And see R for rotate there. It's distorting my mesh. So I'll worry about it later. So it looks like I'll be able to hide it with that. Yeah, I think I'll be able to hide it with that. So this picture in the background is kind of bothering me. I don't know what to do because um, this is out of alignment. And then the top part there is aligned, but this part's not. If I make, I'd have to try to scale it maybe along the y-axis. I don't even know. So I'll just, I'll just deal with that one for front view. And then I got to make the geometry here for this section. So I'm going to go to edge selection, select this edge here, and put it down, pull it down to that edge right there. GZ. There we go. GZ. There we go. R for rotate. There we go. Let me go to vertex selection. Probably be easier if I use a vertex. GZ. There we go. And then I might as well pull this one down over here if I can find that there is GZ. So uh, I know I'm in wireframe. So be aware that there's a the wireframe. You could accidentally select the mesh that's in the back. So you don't want to do that. If you do, uh, shouldn't be too bad since we can't see that part back there. GZ. GZ. Oops. Wrong key. Wrong vertex. GZ. All right. Let's create a geometry there for that. And cool. This seems to go down. And then I'll worry about that later there. And what's going on there? Why are these touching? Oh, it's the one in the back. That's okay. And then I can try to create the... Uh, little groove there. So I'm going to select uh, this edge right here. And I'm going to subdivide it. Subdivide it again. And then go back to vertex selection. And select that vertex there. Put it for right view. On for front view. I can try pulling it back to the right. So I'm going to do that right here. GY. And then select these two here. GY. Try to get it roundish. GY. That looks a little better there. All right. And I can't just have those chilling like that. I'd have to, uh, got to make geometry for them. So I have to uh, subdivide this section over here too. And then uh, link these edges there. I'm going to right click subdivide. And add some more subdivisions there. There we go. And then I'm going to join these there. J for join. And select these there, J for join. And select those there, J for join. Cool. So now those got supports there. And then this is going to go inward, so I'm not, I don't have to worry too much about that section there. One for front view. All right. And then I have to try to make uh, this right. I can try drawing it. I can try pulling these down. So let me try pulling these down first and see how it goes. <clears throat> GZ. All right. And um, I know I got the one on the front because the edges over here in the front also light up. So be aware of that. GZ. And see the ones in the front didn't line up. They didn't light up. So select that again. There we go. Now they do. GZ. We're going down. Select this one here. GZ. We're going down. There we go. And so then this one, I'd have to pull it down as well. So. Geometry is not too distorted there. And there we go. And this one I can trap pull on it over there, or I can um, also create additional geometry here for these sections. I can join these there. J for join. There we go. I'm going to subdivide it. Subdivide one time. Let me see. Is that going to be enough? Yep, that'll be enough there. 
Now I've got to create geometry for these. So I'm going to get some triangles there. J for join. So they might mess up. I might regret this later, but it's there for now. I can always fix it later if it's, if it's not what I wanted. We're going in. GZ. Oh. GX. There we go. GX. There we go. GX. All right. And then this part out here as well. This seems to go out a bit. GX. So just she grab, pull it up, or let's go over to the right. And this one's going to go out a bit too. There we go. This is the way. All right. See, that's already not looking so hot. So we we'll have to redo this part here. So what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of these edges, and then I have I need to make something going up and down right here to fix that. So that's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to add additional geometry there to fix that there. <clears throat> so control R. Yeah, see, it's not going all the way up and down. So I need to get rid of these edges there. So I want to have all these faces to be as square as possible. These are triangular. That's not what we're looking for. So I'm at X, dissolve edges. Dissolve edges. There we go. And go vertex selection. All right. Got rid of that vertex there as well. Control R. So I don't want to go all the way down. It's because I moved this one down there. So I'd have to draw um, the geometry there, which is all right. Let's see. All right. Because I want to be able to make this part here, right? So let's see. Shift Z. Control R. I'm right here through the bottom. Enter. Enter. Control R right here. Enter. Enter. Control R. Enter, enter, control R, enter, enter, three for right view. How far back are we going? Not too far back. All right, one for front view. And let's see if I can add another one over here. Cool, so that's kind of has that shape. So let's go with that. Control, enter, enter. Let's try add another one over here. Enter, enter, and then I'll add another one up here. At least for that section there to make these uh, top parts around there. Control R, enter, enter. So we undo. Control R, and I'll add a few more in there. There we go. It's going to help make that rounder. Cool. Maybe we can add another one over here. Couple or three. And then Control R over here. And that's just to help make the geometry rounder there. All right, so let's go help out with the smoothing. Shift Z. Let's see how we're looking here. All right, so I want to make this part here, and it looks like I'm about to try to draw it. I can try lining these up. That seems to follow that other curve there. So I need something for this segment there. Let me see if I can try joining these or just cutting through with the knife tool. Three for right view. I guess I can start around. Let's see, one front view. I want to use one of these as a guide. So this thing seems to be way up there. That top part, it's not that far from there. So let me try this one here. One for front view. Close enough. Let me try that one. So from here, I can try to cut down around there. Three for right view. And all right, looking cool there. So I'm going to K for knife. I'm going to click on that vertex. I'm going to drag down to about right there. And there. Cool. Just cut that through there. Three for right view. And uh, I might regret this later, those vertices that are just chilling there. So let's see what happens. I can fix them later. So I'm going to smooth this out. It's going to look fine, like as a low poly model. But once you smooth it out, it's not going to look so fine. But it's there for now. So let me select this one here. See where we're at on the right view. Same as that one. Cool. One for front view. K for knife, I'm going to click there, and then I'm going to meet this one there. Enter. All right. So I'm just using this to cut through the mesh. And then I've tried to make this arch there. So I can select this one, bring it up around there. Start bringing this one down. And I can also just create 
Uh, I can subdivide these, but that's not going to work so, so fly. Oh, got one in the back. I had a feeling I did that. One for front view. Click here again. There we go. want the ones in the front to be lit up. Oh, it's not too bad right there. And K for knife. I'm going to go down into, I think, right there. Try to keep going all the way down. Gets tucked away in there somewhere, right? Let me check this out. Oh, it goes all the way down. All right, goes around there. So then I got to try to do that. Doesn't have to go all the way down. Over from you, shift, drag. All right. So I'll have to go all the way down here. So we go K for knife. Start there. And I'm going to cut around there. I'm going to try to cut on, on the edges, the existing edges here. Because if I try one floating around here, then I have to create another big edge across. All right, let's see. Jump over. Oh, that's in the back and I guess I'll go right there and see that one's gonna need one going up and down so we'll see how it goes this one too YOLO all right cuz that that could be it the, the edge itself could be support for it right all right and I'm gonna select this one there shift Z <clears throat> all right so I got that part extruded I'm going to drag this in and then extrude or pull out the rest up there. One for front view. And GX, here we go. This is the hardest part. All right, so that's not looking so hot there because of these sharp corners. So let me try to pull this up. And then also um, I'm going to use a portion editing tool. But this one right here is uh, obviously getting in the way. So Shift-V, I'm going to pull it up because these uh, edges here should follow the geometry that we have there. Shift V, and we're better off making a duplicate here or joining those two. But I need to get rid of that edge right there. So it should have this, this smooth flow right here, this curvature. I can use a knife tool actually here, and I'll just go all the way over here like that. And there, there we go. I still need to get rid of that. So I'm going to use the uh, edge select there, X key dissolve edges. X key dissolve edges. Sorry, dissolving faces. Let me try to make a hole in there. All right, cool. Let's key dissolve edges. There we go, bam. All right. <clears throat> it's looking smooth, looking smooth. Hold on, alternate key, click on this edge there. Cool, got the whole edge. And Shift Z. All right. Key for right view. That's uh, going back far enough. Well, maybe we should go back a little further. Yeah, we'll go back further and I'll pull this one up here. Shift V. Keep it on the vertex there. And then uh, I guess I'll leave there. Does it arch down? Yeah, it kind of arches down. So I actually need to bring this one down. Should be bring it down a bit there. All right, hold on, alternate key, select those edges, and left click for that one. All right, one for front view. Oh, for proportional editing, Shift Z, G X. We're going in. Can you make the circle smaller. I can see here on the left side over here, you can see it going in and get a better idea of what's going on. All right. View for right view. Seven. Let's go in along the Y over here a bit. <clears throat> GY. All right, it's going, it's going. So this right here is uh, killing our vibe right here. So this whole loop right here, we're going to actually just bring it down. Alternate key, shift V. we just slide that down so we don't got to worry about it up there. And should probably be better off dissolving that whole edge. I need it for that, so not that one. And I don't think I need it for anything else. So X key, dissolve edges. There we go. We have the sharp corner here. I only need it for that section there. So I'm going to delete the ones on the inside here. So this one, all the way to there. Hold on, control. Next key, dissolve edges. There we go. And maybe I do need to get rid of that one. Next key, dissolve vertices. Undo. And get dissolve edges there instead. Dissolve edges. Here we go. All right. 
looking better looking better all right <clears throat> and then this part right here we're going to just going to extrude it inward this section here for the eye so i'm going to face selection and see for circle select and i'm going to select the section here that's going to go inward for the eyes cool 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 how much of the inside we're getting there up into that line so this is a guide i'm going to hold on shift click on this face so i know which ones to get all right cool shift z keep a circle select and just select my way down through there and cool and i can fix that later and i just want to get the ones that are going to go back all right make sure i got all the front faces there and E going in. You get a noticeable bound because in the actual one doesn't seem to go in that much. Or is that other reference angle? But uh, you can make it go in more and make it more noticeable. Because if I don't go in enough, once I smooth it out, it's not going to be as noticeable. And then I'll just scale that in a bit without the proportional editing tool. More for front view. There we go. And cool. So by scaling it in, it gives you more of this other depth that we have there. And try to see the inside of it. It's kind of went down. Try to pick it up a bit. All right, looks looking cool. See, so now I don't have to extrude that. That's fine where it's at. And uh, so then it looks like I didn't have to extrude that top part either. Should have just extruded in uh, that section there. Uh, that's fine. I can also pull these out some more. So I can go to circle select. Select one first. See for circle select. Select these there. And just pull them out a bit. So I can get more of that look. See that right there. That's kind of haunting me there, so I can fix that too. So let's see here. GY. Cool, cool, cool. Getting more of that look. See, so now we're starting to get that arch there. That's cool. And looks more archy, so I can use a vertex select and select this here and just try to adjust my arch there for that part. And then this section here is obviously trash, so we can see what happens if I dissolve edges. Oops, X key. Dissolve edges. See if it'll improve the quality there. Yeah, they didn't improve it. And try to get rid of that. Should just have a should have a vertex going through there actually. J, there we go. Does make it a lot better. Shift Z. And G for grams, pull it up around there. Alright. <clears throat> All right, so this whole edge actually right here seems to be giving me problems. So I'm going to select that whole edge there. And then and then dissolve it and see if I get a better result. Dissolve edges. There we go. This one right here, let's see. Maybe I could bring it down lower. I should probably get rid of the whole thing. Let's key these old edges. There we go. So I just got rid of it. Give me a better look. This one here is also giving me problems. So let me select, delete this edge here. Let's key these old edges or dissolve the edge. Got to be careful with the terminology. And this part's kind of the part that arches, goes up and then down. So then I can instead make it this part here, J, and then get rid of this right here. The little vertices gonna make a big hole. Nope, oh, didn't make a big hole there. Cool. One for front view. You got the look. And I gotta bring this one down. And that one looks like I can get rid of it. Next key, the little vertices. Undo. I should just get rid of that edge. The little edges. There we go. I'm looking either there. I don't need that either. The little edges.
There we go. And then we can get rid of some of these here. X key, dissolve edges, and those two. X key, dissolve edges, bam. All right, that's looking better. So let's see right here. Not liking that section there. Doesn't really have that edge right there. So let's do something about that. Looks like I'm like looks like this whole edge added here was like a big no. So let's get rid of this uh, right here. Oops, X key, dissolve edges. There we go. Looks a lot cleaner, nice and flat as it should be. Tab key. All right. I can also just hide the um, the whole plane by clicking on these eyeballs there. Cool, and then I'll uh, fix that later. For now, I'm still going to focus on the overall. Oops, this is not good right here. Focus on the overall appearance of the of the helmet. <clears throat> so I need that vertex there, but I don't need these uh, edges here. So let's get rid of these right there. Let's keep these all edges. There we go. And let's see if I can get rid of just the edge there, but keep that vertex. And that worked that time. Yeah, this time I kept it in there, that was weird. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like I can probably get rid of these, this right here, or should I leave it? I think I'll leave it. Helps with the uh, that shape down there. Shift Z. And cool, it goes up, and then it goes down around there. And maybe I should bring this one out some more. G for gram, G, X. Actually, should probably have this go into that right there. It'll look a lot neater. So then I should bring back that vertex and join it there. All right. So what I can do is uh, select these two here. And then right-click subdivide. Click on this vertex. Shift V. Go vertex slide. Bring it down right there. Right there. And then I can uh, merge these here. Merge at last. The last one I selected. There we go. <clears throat> See how it looks. It looks neater. This kind of gives me that sharp uh, edge right there, which kind of I don't want. So let me see if I can get rid of it. X key dissolve edges. One looks better. And I still got that part flare knot there on the side. Cool, it's looking better. Try making this wider here. Maybe I can join these. Should I join them? Do I need to join them? Seven, nine. <clears throat> Maybe I should just. Um, Bring this one up here forward so it matches up with the other one right there. Make sure it doesn't distort my mesh too much. Cool. Now I could have left that there and then just make that adjustment that I was trying to go for. Yep. Well, whatever. I'm already committed to that. This right here is messing me up. So I'm going to get rid of that edge there. X key, dissolve edges. And so I'm looking at this picture here, it's a nice sharp shape right there. So I don't need all this extra stuff in there. What I need is to have a cut from there to there, and then one directly down there, so I can get rid of this extra geometry that I have right here. So I'm gonna get rid of those edges there. And unfortunately, I'm gonna go down. So I'm gonna go all the way down there. So I'm gonna keep this edge, and then have it go down here somewhere. Shift V, keep it on the edge there. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this edge. Let's keep this all edges. Let's keep this all edges. Let's keep this all edges. There we go. And then I want to have a cut going all the way up there. So I'm going to get rid of this edge here. This all edges. This all edges. Select these two there. J for join. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. This is kind of going in here. There's something going on. I need to try to fix that there. So this one I could probably bring out GX. There we go. And then this is going to go in. All right. I'm over from you. Oh, GX. Make it more defined there. GY, I'm going a bit.
looking better. So I don't got that sharp shape I got on the side there. I want this nice flat face that I got there. So I'm going to uh, rework this whole side right here. So I'm just going to get rid of uh, these here. X key. Just leave those vertices there. This one too. This one here. Let's keep the vertices. And then I'm going to make a whole new face composed of uh, these here. And I need to select one from back here. So I need to get rid of this here too. X key dissolve vertices. Hopefully it doesn't delete it. Cool. All right. And that's kind of going in right there. So I need to get rid of that too. So all these right here are kind of messing me up. See for circle select. And let's go all the way up over here. Dissolve edges. All right, there we go, looking sharper. And now we'll make a big face here. Let's see, just one face there, hopefully it comes out good. I need something there or not. Oops, effort fill. And oh, let's see, select this one here. There we go, effort fill. And there we go, got the nice flat face there. GX going in. Bring, bring it up a bit. <clears throat> there we go. Looking good, looking good. All defined there. And then I can, if I want to make these smoother, I can add additional cuts in there. Oops, I need to cut here. J, there we go. Or, hmm, I don't know, it's going to go like that. There we go. Draw. So now that I got that overall shape there, go ahead and add new uh, edges here just to make it a little rounder. For later. All right. Can I get one through here? Oh. Get some through here, but it's going to mess it up. All right. <clears throat> it's gonna be out later when uh, it's gonna help me later when I add the, the subdivision surface modifier, smooth everything out. All right, so I got the overall front of the helmet there. Maybe I want to scale these inward a bit. Kind of seem to be protruding too far out, right? So I'm gonna select these from earlier. Actually, I can just click on one. On the control, click on that one. There we go. I hold down alternate shift, click these there. But I don't want those over there. See for circle select. Hold on shift, click those away. Wireframe. See for circle select. Hold down shift. There we go. And let me make these, uh, I guess I can make a smaller first. This is Z along the Z axis. Top proportional editing, SZ. And noticeably smaller. There we go. That's another level of depth to them. And then just make them overall smaller along the every axis except for the Z, so I can try to tuck them in some there. It's really the sorting the mesh there. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up too bad. Too many G for gram. You undo instead. There we go. G for gram. And just pull it in. There we go. <clears throat> Let me hide these planes, see what we're looking like. This is the way, brah. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this shouldn't stick out more than that. So it looks like I'm going to keep pulling it back. You can see here, this is flat. This should be mesh right there. It should be flush. All right, seven for top view, nine for bottom view, seven again, three for grab, should be flush right there. Still not flush, one, nine, can I see from there? Nope, seven for top view, 
and uh, G4 gram. And there we go. And then I'll just select these here and extrude them inward like I did with the visor there. And these select the ones in the back there. Super circle select. There we go. E to extrude. We're going in. S for scale. Z. <clears throat> all right, so it's looking better. Now we got that well defined ridge there. Doesn't go all the way to the back. So we're going to have that, uh, whatever that earpiece thing is right there, stick it in here. And obviously, it's not going to be all the way over there. It's going to be a little bit off to the right to offset the uh, distorted image. All right, so we got the helmet there. Make the back part with a different part. All right, let me get rid of this stuff right here. So I'm going to select these faces there, and I'm just going to delete them. X key, delete faces. There we go. Off of front view. And I don't think the thing goes all the way down. Oh, it does. So I'll just pull these down right here. Edge select. <clears throat> oh, selected too much. There we go. And then GZ. And what is that back there? Nothing, just part of that. I guess I can fill this in here. Oops, I didn't select any of the right ones. There we go. Oh, I didn't get it again that time. Right there, just for aesthetics. All right. And there's that. So let me hide these. Cool. And then I could save this one as is right now. Uh, in case I want to make another type of helmet, I'm gonna, maybe I'll make both of it later. And I can use this one as a default to make all my other helmets since I got the overall mesh there already. If I try to smooth it out by shading smooth, it's going to look horrible. See, as you can see there, it looks really bad. <laughs> all right, so let me save this one real quick. And I'll save an, uh, an additional copy as well. All right, so I got my, my uh, Mandalorian helmet here. And now I can try bringing in the, uh, the mirror modifier. Sorry, the uh, subdivision surface modifier so I can smooth it out. There it is. It looks horrible right now. We'll fix that up. Let's bring this up. Let me try three, try four. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Four there, five there. Let's go back down. All right, tab key. There we go. So now we're going to fix up these uh, these corners that don't look so sharp. See? All right, so what I want to do is uh, select them. So hold on, alternate, click here. Go select that whole edge. Yep. I actually want to select this whole perimeter here. Let me hold on shift there. Oh, small sections there now. Alternate shift, click there. Take all the way down. Cool. Loop the round through there. All right. And then let me try to select this top part here as well. Let me try alternate. Which one do I want to select? Ah, oh, this one right here. There we go. And then this part looped around there. Cool. Now to sharpen these up, I'm going to shift E and then pull the mouse away. There we go. Now it's looking sharp there. Let me bring in the other image at that weird angle. There we go. It's looking sharper there. It should be sharp, not round like it was earlier. Now I'm going to sharpen the inside as well because it kind of looks like it blends into it. So I have to try to select the edges in here. I can't see it, so I'm going to go over to the wireframe. And alternate click. There we go. Alternate click. And there's another one over here. Alternate click. The whole thing. Cool. And in the inside here, alternate click. And I got to go down further. Alternate shift click. There we go. And then I'm going to sharpen those up as well. Shift D. Pull the mouse away. There we go. Now you have a nice well-defined uh, face shield there. Looking better. There we go. And then the top part doesn't look too bad. I can leave it like that. It's kind of round there. So I'll leave it as is right there. And I need to do something about uh, this wedge that we have here, right? And the other one up there. So we can try to select those to sharpen them up. Hold on, alternate key, click there. Don't want to get all those. I'll deselect them in a bit. Alternate shift. Let's grab it all the way down here. There we go. And I'm just going to use C for circle select to deselect these up here. Cool. Over front view. All right, let's see what else we have. I don't want this one going down. 
just the ones that seem to follow that line there. And let's try to get this most section here. It looks at, looks like it's missing. Mm, nope. I guess I'll leave it like that. All right, see what I get. <clears throat> Shifty, sharpen that up. There we go. There we go. So it looks kind of rough, but whatever. Alternate Z, Shift Z. I'm going to try to select one of these here on the inside. Let me go with this one. There we go. And deselect these up here. Actually, no, keep that one selected. Just not this one. There we go. And then the one that goes down over here, which looks like it's going to be this one. There we go. And that sharp corner in the back. There we go. It connect back there. It doesn't connect here. But whatever, YOLO. All right, Shift D. Pull the mouse. There we go. Let me try some more. That's it. All right. Over front view. Cool. Tab key. And then to get a better look, I'm just going to go over here to materials. Sorry, the shader. And I'm going to go over to matte cap. There we go. Try random, random color. Ange. Let's go with the random color there. All right, so I've got to sharpen up the bottom part here. So you can see there it's different than there. So I've got to do something about that as well. Uh, let's see. So I've got to sharpen this one here. Shifty. And there you go. It's already getting sharp there. Click. And then the bottom part is round. Oh, sharp. So I've got to select these here as well. Shifty. Let's make that sharp. There we go. And what else? Try sharpening this corner here too. Is it round or is it a sharp corner there? Right here. So let me check over here. Uh, it looks kind of round, kind of sharp. So I can leave it as is there. It's not too bad. I get the roundness there. All right. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. It's kind of bugging me there, but it's not too bad. Won't be that noticeable. Or is that there? It's the edge right here. Where does that edge go? I think it touches the side of it here. Let's see if I can dissolve it. Next key, dissolve edges. See if it'll improve the look. It might ruin it. Mm, looks like I made it worse. Undo. I just, I'll just leave it there. I can play all these edges. I can pull them forward or back. GY. So you can do stuff like that. I think I'll just leave it. All right, and then let me bring in the side view here. Shift Z. So that's going to look pretty flat there. And does the rim go all the way through the back? Let me bring in the other side view here, one well, front view. And yeah, no, it just stays there. Cool, the rest of it is just round. And so it looks like that part of it is done. And then if you don't like this here, it's that vertex that's in there. You just got to select it and then pull it out so that it um, makes it nice and even there. GX. So you can see it. There we go. That looks better. That is a lot better there. Nice smooth Mandalorian helmet. All right. Could be smoother. Just increase this to five. And hopefully it doesn't crash the computer. Depends on your computer. Could, uh, could crash it. All right. So now... I'm going to make another part of it. Uh, we can get started on the on the ridge part or the ear part. So I'll do the ridge part here. It's, it's way easier than doing that. So that'll be in the, the next section here. So we'll stop for now. And you can watch the next video on how to make the top part there and the earpiece and the back part. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. You can support the channel by subscribing, liking, uh, commenting, sharing. Anything helps, honestly. Have an awesome day.